Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the Smithsonian Crime Scene Fingerprint Kit. And it comes with three different experiments, ink pads, uh, magnifying glasses, brushes, everything you need to do fingerprint and the forensic scenes, which is pretty cool. Um, what you need for this experiment is the Smithsonian Crime Scene Fingerprint Kit, which I have in the description where I got mine, but I also have a couple different areas in case you don't want the whole kit where you can just actually buy the ink pads and get a little bit of information and do it that way. So check the description. So this kit does come with lots of inter interesting information. Fingerprints are formed five months before you were born and they never change and no two humans have the same fingerprints. So one of the things uh, of the experiments is to be able to document your fingerprints on the detective card that comes with the kit. Um, so I'm using their blue uh, ink pad um, and I'm doing my fingers where I got my pointer finger and my middle finger and then I will do my ring finger and so you can do right and left hand um, and then you're able to with their magnifying glasses to analyze them but you can see here the blue was a little bit hard to get off um, and it uh, even when I washed it it was still there now this fingerprint pad which I have in the description it just wipes right off so this is the one I bought this is not with the kit um, and I have a link in there uh, I really like it. It comes off uh, very easily and it doesn't stain your fingers. Um, and so that was one of the advantages, though the blue did wash off. But you can see right here, all I do is wipe my fingers together and um, it's all off your hands and you basically don't have to wash them um, in any way. So I really like the fingerprint pad ink and that's the one I use. So to analyze your fingerprints, according to the Henry classification system, which is used by the FBI, there are eight different basic fingerprint types, as you see here. The chart's gonna help you compare your fingerprint types with different types. So there are three main fingerprint patterns, arches, loops, and whorls. Arches are found in only 5% of the fingerprint patterns. Loops are found more in the 60 to 70% of the fingerprint patterns and whorls are found in 25 to 35 percent of the patterns. Besides these eight patterns, there's a lot more classifications from crossovers to cores to, to deltas and islands, which I'm not going to cover in this um, video, but just want you to be aware there's a lot more ways that they do analyze fingerprints. So here are my prints on the left hand here, and we're going to see I fall into the most common uh, patterns of loops, right, which is 60 to 7 percent. And so you're going to see most of mine here are looping right up and um, you can see almost every finger is right there. So I'm definitely a loop. And if I were to compare that against some of my uh, family, it'd probably be similar, though your uh, genetics don't take over all your uh, fingerprint patterns. So here it is uh, using the Henry uh, classification system by the FBI. You can see that I am a left loop. So out of the eight that's the one I'm classified at, and I can totally see on most of my prints that's exactly what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe, and thanks for watching. So if you like that video, there's also a video right there, right there.